you probably know the basic gaming logics of gear in MMORPGs. Better gear comes with better stats, but require higher levels for your character. And finding gear with high stats isn't always that easy, unless you're rich or you're a big fan of questing. In Forsaken World, however, with the system called Gear Fortification, it's easy to give your current gear a little extra boost to keep you going. For this video, we're gonna look at the equipment I currently wear with my character called Luxatus. I've already told in the previous video that wearing more pieces of the gear set comes with extra stat bonuses. Now, I'm gonna give my chest plate a little extra stat boost just for demonstration of how gear fortification works. Before we can begin though, there are a couple of things you should know about gear fortification. If you hover your cursor at any piece of gear, you can see that there's a line called Fortify Level. The second digit says how many times you can upgrade that piece of gear with gear fortification. The second digit may vary depending on the color of the gear or the required level to wear it. The maximum amount of Fortify Levels is 12. Another thing to know are the ingredients of gear fortification. Basically you need dim star debris, recharging star shards or star crystals. Dim star debris is used for low level gear, which means between the level range of 1 till 39. From level 40 and above you need recharging star shards to fortify your gear. Star crystals can be used on gear of every level, but they are quite hard to get. There isn't really an effective way to farm these ingredients. In Freedom Harbor, there's a daily quest called Run Girl Run, which you can do 5 times per day. The reward for every successful run of that quest gives you a couple of dim star debris or recharging star shards, depending on the level of the character you're using to complete that quest. Star crystals are very hard to get. You can get them as a reward by doing special daily quests, but the chances are very low. You can, however, be rewarded with 5 or 10 star crystals by praying, but only during the first 4 prayers of the day. Even in the world chat, there's a system notification whenever someone has been rewarded with star crystals through the prayer system. And finally, all three ingredients can also be obtained by trading with other players or buying them through auction houses. However, this isn't really recommended since it can get quite expensive at times. Back to my gear set. As you can see, my bloodlust mail is the only piece of gear set which hasn't been exposed to gear fortification yet. I'll deep equip it so it will move towards my backpack. Now, we're gonna go to an NPC called Nicholas, the blacksmith in Freedom Harbor. Choose the option Fortify Gear and voila! This is the basic interface of gear fortification. Notice how the backpack is also visible when you reach the interface. Now, select the piece of gear you want to fortify, in my case, the Bloodlust Mail. Now you'll see that the slots Stone 1 and Stone 2 are filled in with Dim Star Debris and Star Crystals. These will be the ingredients for now. There's also a success rate on the top. Right now it's at 0%, but when I add a star crystal to it, it immediately becomes 100%. However, I don't want my precious star crystal to go to waste already. So instead, I'll select one dim star debris. Now the success rate is different, 75%. Okay, so I'll give that a try. But it seems the fortification was unsuccessful, and now my dim star debris is lost. Since we know that one dim star debris gives us a success rate of 75%, I'll use two instead, to ensure the process will be successful. Notice the glow that you see at the icon of your gear piece. We can now see that the gear stats have increased a bit, and fortify level is now 1 of 12. But what's this? Again, there are two dim star debris ready to be used, and now there's only a success rate of 90%? How come? This is the point where things become interesting. Okay, so these are the fortification rates for when you are using level 1 till level 49 gear. This is the success rate for each dim star debris or recharging star shard, and this is the success rate for each star crystal. On the right, you see the combination of ingredients required to achieve a 100% success rate for every rank or fortify level. You can clearly see that the success rate of both star shards and star crystals decrease whenever you want to fortify your piece of gear further. You can also see that from fortify level 6 and beyond, you are forced to use some star crystals if you want a 100% success rate. Fortify levels 8 till 12 have the same success rate system as fortify level 7. Back to my example. 
right now the fortify level is one so if i want to upgrade my gear to the next fortify level i can either use a dim star debris with a success rate of 45 percent or a star crystal since there were two pieces of dim star debris available for fortification the total success rate was 90 percent now you might think it's not so bad since there's always a possibility to achieve 100% success rate. Well, for the gear level range 1 till 49, yes. But take a look at this. There are two things to notice right here. First off is the zero success rate with star shards at the higher fortify levels. So your only option from that point on is to use star crystals. Second, since there are only 8 slots available for your ingredients, there are scenarios in which it's impossible to achieve a 100% success rate. Gear fortification also has a second payoff. You can unlock gem sockets for your gear pieces after you have fortified the gear piece about 4 or 5 times. You can then put a gem in the socket for even more extra stat bonuses. But again, there are many types of gems out there, so be careful which one you choose. So, in conclusion, gear fortification is nothing else but a little gambling with your star shards and star crystals. Is it worth it though? Well, stat bonuses are always nice, but it's a bit useless at the beginning of the game. In the first couple of levels you'll quickly change gear pieces every now and then. I'd recommend saving up shards to buy a complete gear set as quickly as possible, preferably the one by exchanging emerald shards. This way you will have some very nice bonuses off the bat, which will make it more likely that you'll stick with that gear for a long while. Gear fortification may then be an option. One additional note is that you can somehow influence how you want your stats to become like. For instance, if you have an item that gives defense and mana, like my bloodlust mail, you'll know that with gear fortification, you'll upgrade both these stats. So if you are in need of some HP, simply fortify gear pieces that give health bonuses. This way you will earn additional health bonuses along the standard bonus the gear piece had to offer you. So that concludes this video and also my second guide of the game Forsaken World. If you have somehow missed the first video, look it up at our channel, Rake You Free. If you have any more questions about gear fortification or you have some feedback you want to share with us, please leave them in the comments. Also make sure to like this video and subscribe to Rake You Free if you like the content. I'm Matt Raptor. Thanks for watching.